AWS Media Services Introduction, Use Cases and Architecture This is a family of services for cloud-based video workflows. Before we dive into AWS Media Services, let's understand some important concepts. Here's a high-level streaming media architecture. You have encoders that encode the video and send it to cloud media services where it is processed and then streamed out into video consumers or players. Note the protocols used for ingestion and delivery are different. Let's go over some important concepts and terminology. Encoding is the process of compressing video into a desired format. Decoding is the reverse process. Codec, that is coder decoder, is an algorithm used to encode or decode a video. Transcoding is the process of converting one encoding to another. Container is a wrapper or a file that contains video, audio streams, subtitles and metadata. For example, file extensions like .mp4 represent a container. A video format represents a codec and a container. ABR or Adaptive Bitrate Technology is used to transport the source video stream into multiple output streams of different qualities. Therefore, those with faster internet connections can watch higher quality streams while those on slower connections will use a lower quality stream. The output stream is a series of media segments, each up to 10 seconds long. This allows switching between various stream qualities easily depending on fluctuating internet speeds or user preferences, hence the term adaptive. Here are some examples of codecs and containers. H.264 is a popular codec, while MP4 is a popular container. Communication protocols commonly used for ingestion are RTMP, RTSP and so on, while amongst the streaming protocols, HLS and Dash are popular. Here are AWS Media Services organized by category. Let's do a quick walkthrough. For on-premise encoding, we can use link device. For transport on the cloud, we can use Media Connect. For live media encoding, we can use Media Live. Media Convert is a file-based transcoding service. Media Tailor can be used for ad insertion. Media Store is a media storage service. Media Package is for just-in-time packaging. IVS is a live streaming solution. In addition, we can use CloudFront to deliver video streams to video players. Here's a diagram that shows live video streaming architecture at a high level. We will use this diagram going forward to understand individual AWS media services and modify it as needed. Let's start with AWS Elemental Link Device. It is an on-premise hardware device that connects a live video source such as a camera or video production equipment to AWS Media Services on the cloud. You can purchase this device from Amazon. Link devices ship fully configured to your AWS account. Simply connect the device to a power source, an IP network, video source and you are ready. Once connected, video is automatically available in your Media Live console shortly and ready to stream to viewers. Link device is controlled and monitored remotely using the Media Live console. Remember that there are many ways to send video from an on-premise live video source to AWS Media Services. AWS Elemental Link device is just one such easy to use mechanism that's ready to use out of the box. Next, let's look at Media Connect service. Media Connect is a transport service that ingests live video into AWS Cloud, which can then be distributed to multiple destinations inside or outside AWS Cloud, including Media Connect service in other AWS regions. Media Live is a cloud-based live video encoding service that lets you deploy a simple live channel in minutes. It supports standard codecs, resolutions, and features like Ad marker support, audio normalization, Dolby Audio, multiple caption standards, and advanced capabilities like statistical multiplexing. 
before we discuss media package, let us first understand what is just-in-time packaging. Just-in-time packaging takes one incoming stream of video and dynamically converts it into multiple formats based on requesting device. In other words, Packager outputs a compatible video stream on the fly. This optimizes storage efficiency and helps you deliver content to a wide variety of devices. Media Package is a just-in-time video packaging and origination service. It customizes live video streams or video on-demand assets for delivery in a format compatible with the device making the request. It implements DVR features, provides support for DRM, and delivers video streams to a wide variety of playback devices and CDNs. Video files in a S3 bucket could be used as a source for media packaging for a video on demand use case. Packaging group configurations can be created for assets which are then applied upon playback requests. Media Store is a media origin and storage service. When you write content to AWS Elemental Media Store, it is automatically held in a replicated cache for the first few minutes after creation and again after each update, providing low latency and consistency for video stream delivery. A use case for AWS Elemental Media Store would be serving live adaptive bitrate video streams that require HTTP origin. If the live streams are already in the correct format and have any required DRM applied, you can use Media Store as a pass-through video origination and storage service. However, if multiple formats and DRMs are required or DVR-like features needed, you would use AWS Elemental Media Package. Media Convert is a file-based video transporting service. You simply submit required jobs with appropriate settings. Media Convert will provision the required resources to process your jobs and monitor them. It is important to remember that this is a file-based transporting service and does not support live video encoding. For encoding live video for broadcast and streaming to any device, you can use Media Live. Media Tailor is a personalized ad insertion and channel assembly service. Advertisements are seamlessly inserted into the content and can be tailored to individual viewers. It supports HLS and Dash streaming for video on demand and live workflows. Before inserting an ad, it checks with an ad server about ad to be inserted. All of this allows for ad personalization. It also offers advanced tracking of ad views. Channel assembly feature allows you to create linear streaming channels using your existing video on demand content. You can then monetize your channel by inserting ad breaks into your stream. If you simply want to stream live video, possibly with some interactive experience, then you can use Amazon IBS or Interactive Video Service. It is an easy to use managed live streaming solution. It takes care of video ingestion, processing and playback. You send a live video stream from an encoder or encoding software to the ingestion point with the provided stream key. Then use the playback URL with the player SDK and watch the live stream on websites and iOS and Android applications. With the standard channel, Amazon IBS converts the incoming live video stream to a range of video resolutions and bit rates. You may attach structured text data to video streams that is delivered alongside the video stream. This allows you to create polls, live surveys, leaderboards, and other real-time elements that are automatically synchronized to the video content, thus providing an interactive video experience. You could also configure Amazon IBS to record live video to an S3 bucket. By now, we already understand how live streaming can be implemented. Therefore, this is a recap. Ingest video stream, transcode, package, and deliver. Here's an alternative way of live streaming by using Amazon IVS or interactive video service. This is a simpler, easy to set up solution 
with optional interactive experience. Here's a video on demand architecture. Videos exist in a source S3 bucket. You can use Media Convert to transport videos to a destination S3 bucket. Media Package can package and deliver the videos on playback request via CloudFront. Lambda function can be used to submit Media Convert job while CloudWatch can receive job progress, error, completion events and so on. This brings us to the end of our discussion. This should give you a good idea of various AWS media services.